Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Day three with the Evolve. Right now, my little Spanky dug a hole next to the tree. And it is up to me to now have to fill that hole back to keep the tree from dying. So, that's what I'm about to do right now. But... I basically wanted to talk about my third day with the Evolve, and I still haven't gotten used to it. This is one board. I don't know if there's like a starter board or any kind of board like that, but this is one board that is really hard to get used to. There he go, burning off his energy. These type of dogs, Wamaranas, they need a lot of exercise because they have this energy that they need to burn off. And this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. All right, you feel better now? All right. So like I was saying, this is my third day with the with the Evolve skateboard. And I have to tell you, when I bought the look at them chewing on the plant the tree. But when I bought this board, this wild go to, I actually bought two boards and shred lights and still have money left over for the course of the Evolve. Evolve was my first choice. But um, I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't pull the trigger on the price tag. And in a way, I'm cl I'm glad I didn't because. Oh, Spanky, why are you knocking over the plants? Come on, move, 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 move. Excuse me, Spanky. Oh boy. Yeah. So when I got the the Wildgo 2S, I really thought that you know. I was going to have a hard time riding it because I never rode an electric skateboard. And the one skateboard that I ever rode in my life was when I was younger. I was a kid. I was like 11 years old when I got my first push skateboard. And then when the electric skateboard, the electric skateboard um, phenomenon started, I did my research and I watched a few reviews on a couple of YouTubers that... Uh, had a couple of boards that they reviewed and, it, and they said that this was the best board to get for the price when I first rode the board the board was so smooth non-intimidating easy to handle break, from braking to um, acceleration everything about the Wildgo 2S was just made for anybody who was afraid of electric skateboards to get over their fear and ride out with this board. So a year later, I go and I get the Evolve. Now, back to the Wago 2S. I, I say I had to because I actually got rid of one of them. 
I got rid of the Wildgo 2S. And with the money I got off of the Wildgo 2S, I was able to purchase the Evolve. So I just wound up paying the difference on the Evolve with the money I made off of the Wildgo 2S. So now I'm down to one Wildgo 2S, which is good. And then I have the Evolve. And the reason why I actually bought the Evolve is so I could start going out on ride outs with the guys in the city. Being in New York City, they have these uh, ride outs with uh, guys that have electric skateboards and things like that. So what they would do is they'll meet up and go on these ride outs. Now with the Wildgo 2S, I knew I wouldn't be able to keep up with them because it only gives me like 11 miles on a single charge. This bad boy right here, 31 miles. So I'll be able to keep up and I'll be able to enjoy the ride without having to charge every so hours or whatever. Now, I'm getting a backpack. I was going to get the Evolve backpack, but I think they want like a hundred and some odd dollars for the Evolve backpack that holds the skateboard. I found two backpacks on Amazon where I can actually carry my board and store things in it like charger and uh, battery packs and all kind of things like that. And also the backpacks, both backpacks have one of these uh, chargers that you could bring a power brick, connect the power brick to the bag and you can actually charge your phone or your laptop or whatever needs charging. You can actually charge it. I don't think the Evolve bag does that. So that's an added plus for a fraction of the cost. And again, um, having this board for like a year plus, yeah, I, you know, I spray painted it. And when I spray painted it, I just jazzed it up a little bit to make it unique to, to me. And I like the results. It's like a matte black with a matte orange. Not that I like orange, but it just, it pops. So I did it that way. But the Evolve, now, I don't think I'm going to be making any alterations with this board, no matter how long I have it, as far as painting it and anything like that. Um, I'm looking into getting some street wheels for it, because right now I have the ATV wheels on it, the all-terrain wheels on it. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting, I think it's 107 millimeter wheels or 110 me milli, uh, I can't even talk now. Uh, the 110 millimeter wheels for the street version and swap these out when I want to do some street riding or whatever. I don't know. But as of right now, those those um, alternate rain wheels are so good on the streets with the potholes and the cracks and everything else that I got to deal with in New York City. So I'm loving that. But um, yeah, and here's my bike. I'm actually going to ride my bike today first. And this is my little GT. I had it. I bought this GT back in '98. Yeah, this bike was purchased back in '98, and I got my red riding gloves that actually I could use it for my cell phone, touchscreen, uh, pads on the uh, fingers for touch, uh, for the touch phones, stuff like that, which is real cool. But yeah, I'm going to ride this bike today, as beautiful it is out here. I need to get some exercise, work down my belly, and then I'm going to take the board out later and try to familiarize myself with this board. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, having this backpack, when I start going out on these rides, I'm going to strap the the WowGo board to the backpack, but I'm going to use this as my main riding board since it gets... Um, great miles on it so the range will start me off with a ride and in the event that I need to charge or whatever while that's charging I could ride out on this one and get an additional 11 12 miles with this board and yeah that's the plan so I'm gonna bring both boards for the ride out and um, yeah but I'm not going to do the ride out until I get my helmet. I got to get my helmet. Um, knee and elbow pads. I got to get those because 
this board right here is so intimidating and I never thought that my fear for this board would last this long. My fear for this board when I first got it lasted about two hours and then once I actually got um, on the board a lot more that day when I first unboxed it, it was like I conquered this board. This board on the other hand, the torque, the speed, the handling, everything about this board is, 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 is screams unstable to me. Other people who have these boards, I see them carving and doing backflips and doing all kind of crazy stuff on it. That's not me. I'm a conservative rider. I'm not new. I'm not new to the, the e-board game, but a year being into it, I've mastered this board very comfortable very confident on this board but this board here it seems like you have to ride it a lot differently when between the two this board i could ride it all day this board um i really have to be on it a lot more and get familiarized with the 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 braking the speed the torque and everything else like that now back to uh as far as torque and getting used to this board the braking on this the braking on the wild go 2s is beautiful it's so responsive when i pull back on the on the wheel when i pull back on the wheel it breaks it, it responds well the braking is is nice and and reliable this board on the other hand the braking on this board is is something to get used to, which is weird. If I want to brake, I should be able to brake. Why do I have to get used to braking with this board? Because it, I can't even explain it. All I know is that when I brake on this board, I'm braking. It's beautiful. And this board here, it's like I start to brake. And the board is still moving even after I bring the brake all the way down. It has like a, a you, you place your thumb on the the brake trigger and when you press it all the way down the board is still moving when you brake on this the gradual braking with the wago 2s comes to a stop this continues to roll when you fully brake i don't I, I don't know i don't know what to do with this so that's why i really have to get real familiar with this board before i go on these ride outs with with the rest of the crew because there's a lot of them and they go fast and they're in and out of traffic and I know I gotta I have to know what I'm doing before I go out but yeah so day three I'm gonna ride the bike first after I ride the bike first then I'll head out on the evolve and see how I basically work with the evolve but um the backpacks are coming I'm, I'm actually getting two backpacks for the pr again two backpacks for the price of one evolve backpack two skateboards shred lights for the price of one evolve and still had cash left over i don't know but when these two backpacks come in with my elbow pads knee pads and helmet comes in I get more familiar with this board. I'm going to go on a ride out and see how that feels. So that's going to be fun. It was good talking to y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.